probably ain't never gonna go back there. Um, anyway, you guys, let's oh Spinderella. Yeah, she lives in she lives here in Cali too. So yeah, she would probably have to fly back and forth, or she might relocate. You never know. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the grand finale, Shannon Sharp. So I had heard the whole gay rumor about Shannon Sharp. First of all, there's gay rumors about everybody, including some YouTubers. You know, they talk about me being in the closet. <laughs> y'all gonna stop talking about me recording in my room in the closet. I done showed y'all the kitchen. What, uh, what other rooms y'all want me to show y'all in the house, damn it. But anyway... You know, it always comes with the price of fame, gay rumors, all that stuff, okay. But it's funny how it's more coming up this week after the whole Cat Williams thing. You know, everybody kind of digested the whole Cat Williams um, interview and stuff like that. But now more people are upset. You've even heard Dave Chappelle talk about it. Uh, somebody, you know, stuck a camera into his comedy show. He was talking about why he went after everybody black. Everybody's having a visceral reaction to this interview. And literally, Cat Williams is a comedian. You should be able to take whatever he says. If you're a comedian, you can come right back at him. Because for the most part, Cat Williams went after all comedians. Ludacris is not necessarily a comedian, though. But, you know, with the uh, uh, Steve Harvey. Um, Cedric the Entertainer, they should be able, Kevin Hart, they should be able to come back with some kind of comedic uh, relief. Uh, what What's up, make it make sense? Right. And I think this is the reason why, because people are all like, oh, you want to interview Cat Williams? You want to let him drag us? Okay, we're going to dig down in the dirt on you. And so when I had originally had seen this, I was all like, oh, y'all, y'all full of idiot. You know, like y'all just making up shit, whatever. Technically, he's a single man. I think he was divorced a while ago. He's a single man. So if he is, he is whatever. But doing some digging because there's this guy called the Hollywood uh, Mogler, right? I don't know if you guys ever heard of seeing this person around, but he has like this assistant slash stylist that actually styles him, right? Here he is, uh, you know, he's with him right here. And I wanna let you guys know something. The Hollywood Mogler, and I'll show you guys his real name in a minute. The Hollywood Mogler actually references Shannon Sharp as his unk. He'll call him unk, you know, for uncle. And then Shannon Sharp referenced him as nephew. So they have a fa they're more family oriented and stuff like that. And but they're saying this is the guy that he's allegedly with. Because you know they're always sitting front row and stuff like that. Now, when you are comfortable with your sexuality, you are able to hang out with any and everyone. It does not matter who you hang out with. It does not matter if you're photographed with someone. And I think, you know, we live in a day and age where it's all like, oh, we need to know who's in your bed. Sometimes you don't need to know who's in whose bed and what they got going on. Like, it would be one thing if he was a married man and he was having like a relationship and stuff like that. It's not, you, that's not what's going on. So even if this was his boo or not, it's nobody's business, technically. However, I was like, who's the Hollywood mogler? Like, who is he? I was like, why does this kind of sound familiar? Because I remember a while ago there was a Hollywood, right? Do y'all remember the former NFL player, Kerry Rhodes? Boom! Boom, shaka -laka -laka -laka. Right there. Remember, I want to say, remember Media Takeout. Now, I know Media Takeout be on some shit, right? But Media Takeout did this whole thing about Carrie Rose having a boyfriend and all this stuff, and they were pictured together, all of this. Y'all remember this, right? Put a one in the chat if you remember the rumor about Carrie Rose. This is the Hollywood Mogler. His 
His actual name is Russell Simpson. Russell Simpson. That's what. Uh, that's who the ho Hollywood Mogler is. So he was the one that actually outed Kerry Rhodes. He had exposed text messages. The pictures were leaked online and stuff like that. Now, Kerry Rhodes, uh, Rhodes did end up releasing a statement. And he was all like, yo, this guy works on my team. You know, it's, it was a team vacation and all this stuff, right? So hold on. I wanted to pull up another picture. So these kind of pictures were coming up where they look kind of like intimate almost, but you know, n nothing like kissing or anything like that. It just looked kind of playful or whatever. Right. Wait, who put a one? Wait, you say left out. Why are you putting a one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and so the reason why I'm saying this is because Shannon Sharp now people change, right? People do change. However, this man lost his whole career off of these rumors. And don't forget, in 2017, Carrie Rose got married to, um, what's her name? Um, Whelan? What's her first name, though? So, something Whelan. I forgot what her first name was. Some Whelan. And they were only married for six months and then got a divorce. And so even then, I was all like, Y'all got to divorce that quick? Like, what the hell going on? It was like, maybe he felt forced and compelled to marry. So, like, all the rumors and shit go, I, I don't know. That That's where my thought process went to, you guys. Y'all will tell me her name is. But, yeah. And so, I was all like, wow. So, this is what had me thinking. Now, do I think him and Shannon Sharp are in a relationship? No, no, that that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, Shannon Chart, be be very careful with this guy. And I do have the text messages up here. One moment, these were the texts that were given to Baller Alert. Let me turn off my camera because they're really small. Oh, I can read it on my phone. So this is Carrie Rose allegedly messaging uh, the Russell S Simpson, aka Hollywood Mogler. He said, yes, babe, love you back. That's Kerry Rhodes. And then he says, I, then uh, Russell replies, I miss you. Kerry says, miss you too. Okay. Then you see, y'all gonna, y'all gonna be up and ready in the morning. He said, yes, sir. You know, we are, uh, you know, you know, we are my baby. Have a big game. Laugh out loud, laugh out loud. Yes. Look at Cam in the workout room. I'm always going on. And then he said, laugh out loud, do. And then they do you. So not damaging like, oh, I want to see you next tomorrow or whatever. But referencing is Bay. Love you back isn't even suspicious to me. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying love you or anything like that. But yeah. And so he gave a, a interview to uh, what you call it, Baller Alert, talking about Russell Simpson, right? He gave an interview, and this is what he says in the interview. Mind you, if you go to Baller Alert to read the the po the article or whatever, a lot of it is missing. Like they took it down. I had to go through a third party on a blog who actually had it, and I'll post a link to it too. So it says Russell's response after providing the text messages on Carrie's threat. First and foremost, you can't make sure that I don't say anything else because I'm I'm going to say whatever the F I want to say. Then he goes, if you don't like what I have to say, then you should just chop my tongue off and give me a new one. Oh, wow. Then he goes, and when I get a new one, I'm going to talk then too. The only way you can keep me from talking is to throw me in the damn river. And I can assure you that won't happen. I may be gay, but I'm still a boy and I can go with the best of them. And then it says, only way I'm going to stop talking ish if I'm dead or I'm in the river. And if he throw me in the river, 
I can swim so he would have to kill me. Damn. Sorry for all these words, you guys. Kill me and then throw me in the river. If he just throws me in the river, I'm going to come out hair wet and, <laughs> and ready to continue to talk about him. We all know what he can swim because he swum when he was in. Me. Oh, oh, my God. It, it's just, we all know he can swim because he swum when he was in me. Y'all. Oh, my. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What? We all know he, that he can swim because he swum when he was in me. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! This is what uh, Russell Simpson was saying. Um... And, and so basically what I got from that, he's saying that I'm going to talk no matter what. Uh, that's what I got from it. He's going to talk no matter what. So um, it, it continues, y'all. Hold on. We we got to continue. Oh, did somebody send me something? I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he said, I'm going to play. <laughs> oh, that's Sealy. Not Sealy on Color Purple. Oh, my God. Y'all are crazy. Okay, let me continue. Hold on, y'all. We're we going to continue. Okay, and so on whether he personally outed Carrie, he says this. It's definitely already out, just nobody was talking about it. The football players that played for Arizona have to uh, have talked about it. It's been talked about. I'm not outing Carrie. Carrie outed himself when he, w when he was asked a question, and he responded. The people who are saying I'm outing him should be happy if you're a girl. If you run into him now, you know he likes boys, so you won't be playing yourself. I'm, <laughs> I'm helping you. Be, uh, ooh, I'm helping you, bitch. At the end of the day, if you think about it, I'm not out and carry. I'm helping the little groupie standing outside the gate. Think about it. I wasn't the little girl standing outside the gate. I was the girl inside the gate, getting in the truck with him with red bottoms on. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. So, again, this was some years ago, you guys. People change. I hope he has changed. Um, and the website I got it from was uh, Welcome to Linda uh, Ikiji, Ikije or Ikiji. Um, this was a lot, you guys. Have you ever swam while you've been swallowed? Swallowed up. Swallowed up. <laughs> Yo, that's the new one right there. Yo. I'm like, oh my god. Mind you, I didn't read this before. Like, I, I read that live. Like, that's why I was all like, oh my god. He ain't changed. Shannon got to be careful because you can't be around saying anything, any and everything. Shannon, you in danger. Can the church say swallow? <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Like, I don't even know what to say after this. Like I said, usually I kind of proofread before. That's why I was like, oh, sorry for all the, I was going to try to edit out all the K-I-L-L -L, and I was like, I just got to say it how it is. And then talking about if you throw me in the river, I'm going to still come back out and all this stuff. And then we all know that he can swim because he swam. <laughs> he swam up. What? Who talks like that? That is wild. And like I said, Carrie has not been the same since. He had that quick six-month marriage, and we haven't heard anything back. And I think also, too, 
uh, the Hollywood Mogler, he does have a point because Carrie should not have responded to it. I think him responding to it kind of opened it up because then he's going to feel a certain kind of way and be like, oh, I need to out this man. Oh, what's up, Stephanie? Have you, have you ever been swimming? <laughs> have you ever swum? Have you ever been swummed in? <laughs> Yo! Hashtag swumming. Yo, that's the new hashtag right there. I'm like, yo. But you know, it, it's it's sad because it gives that kind of stereotypical uh messy gay vibe. You know, I, I, I don't like saying it like that, but it does. It does give that vibe like, okay, you went ahead and out with this man, but you said, oh, he was already out. Okay, well, nobody needs to know all that, you know? I, I hope the Hollywood Mogler, a.k.a. Russell Simpson, I hope he learned his lesson and he won't do no shit like that again. But I'm worried about Sh Shannon. I'm worried about Shannon. Like, does Shannon even know this? You know what I mean? He probably has no idea about this history and stuff like that. But when I was doing my research, I was like, oh, that's the same guy. That That's the same dude. And I probably should have did a side by side, you guys, just to make sure. I apologize. But let's do a quick poll real quick. Hold on. So this guy right here, right? The one on the right next to Carrie Rhodes. Is the same one right here, the same one right here, right? Of course, a little bit older, right? He aged a little bit more, not like as in like old, old, but yeah, that that's the same one. Whew, this is crazy, y'all. Sounds like a gay conversation to me. I mean. Yeah. It says remain abundantly swallowed. <laughs> Yo. It, it's a lot, y'all. Was he swimming? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this is definitely crazy. A passed around toy. Damn. And I mean, he is a stylish, but um, I can tell Shannon pays him very well. If you guys go to the Instagram, if I'm not blocked already, hold on. Every time I talk about a celebrity, I'll be like, they probably going to block me. But they don't, though. They really don't. Um, but yeah, Hollywood underscore score Muggler or Moogler, M-U-G-L-E-R. If you look him up, he's very fashionable. You know, he got all the handbags and everything name brand designer you see all this right here yeah wow 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 first class trips back to here showing a pool area and everything that's somewhere in hollywood like he lives a, a a great life you can't deny that you getting blocked. <laughs> hey, I'm either going to get blocked or I'm swallowed. Swallowed up. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, originally when they were doing this, I was all like, oh, y'all trying to hate on Shannon Sharp because he had that amazing interview with Cat Williams and shit like that. And then when I was looking at stuff, I was like, Whoa, oh, hold on. Hold up. There might be a little truth to some of this stuff going on, you know? Um, but like I said, I definitely don't think, um, oh, how is it pronounced? M Mugler? Oh, M Mugler. Oh, thank you, Jay, for that. I appreciate that. What the hell is a Mugler? Hold on. Let me, let me Google that real quick. Hold on. You know, I love to be educated. I've been saying Moogler this whole time. Y'all don't let me say Moogler. Y'all probably didn't know what it was either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got to send him a smoke the signal, huh? Uh, Moogler uh, became an internationally recognized design 
often group with his friends. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know who the hell, what the hell that even is. That's why I didn't know how to say it. Damn it. Shake what your mama gave you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's like a name. But before um, Russell, he was going by Russell Hollywood Simpson. So he always had the Hollywood. But I can see on his Instagram, he doesn't use his name at all. A ballroom house, too. Oh, so maybe he's a part of like the ballroom, like Pose, the show Pose. Okay, maybe that's what he is. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's his designer slash assistant. So that's who he is to Shannon Sharp. Now, I will say this before we end the show. I just want to be clear. Uh, do you guys think that Shannon Sharp is in a relationship with this guy or this is just a business relationship? Let me know in the chat. Okay, business, business. Okay, Jackie said relationship. Okay, business, business. Absolutely not. Okay. And Empress said you got to be one of the girls to know, okay, I'm not one of the girls. That's why I don't know what a a, a Mugler is. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what a Mugler was, but I'm learning something new every day. Okay, okay. We got it. 10% business, 90% business. <laughs> ah! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Mugler House uh, was on the uh, show Legendary. Oh, okay, okay. It was on, um, that was the show with, um, what was I going to say, Megan Fox? Megan the Stallion, right? Okay, okay. I, I know what you're talking about. Okay, I, did, I didn't watch the show, so I didn't know. Um, yeah, I feel like, we might be talking about two different ones. But anyway, the, the guy is who he is. That's the guy who's working with Shannon Sharp who outed care or he said he didn't out on it was already known. So, you know, it it is what it is. Now, I'm going to ask you all this last final question right here. Do you feel like the Hollywood Moglair, do you feel like he is going to out Shannon Sharp if something goes wrong or no? Do you feel like he will out Shannon Sharp? Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hate that. Damn. Shannon, be careful. Oh, he has an NDA. Okay. He better have some kind of... Shannon, if you watch him, put the NDA on him. You know? Put that NDA on them because you just never know. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't know. So there was more than K are you just referencing Carrie Rhodes? Yeah. It and that's a dangerous game. You know, luckily, he he made it out alive because you know what's up sean when you um do that album stuff it, it, you can be playing a dangerous game so hopefully he learned his lesson and if him and shannon go their separate ways that will be it and not him trying to 
make a moment and do things, you know? Um, I don't want to go too deep in it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes it's not safe for you to do that. Why do you think Diddy's secret has been a, well, not really a secret, but a secret, you know? Because obviously that man do things to you when you go against him. Yeah, you got to be careful playing that game. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for checking out the show. I think I'm going to go live on the backup channel. I'm either going to um, talk about how Dookie Way is jealous of... Um, and <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to talk about him. I really don't. Or I'm going to talk about how uh, Storm. someone did a video saying Storm uh, left Love Jones for a 70-year-old woman. <laughs> I will need to do a review on it. So I might go to the backup channel where we can be open and free back there. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm probably going to splice this video up into different parts just because like there was so much that we covered. So thank you guys. I love y'all. And um. I really need to start getting my shit together so I can go to LA. Oh, before I, before I end, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. And I'll drop the link for the backup channel too. Um, so LA, so I will be there on the 25th through the 26th. I mean the 28th. Um, I actually don't have any plans on Thursday when I get there. So if you guys are in the LA area and y'all want to kick it on Thursday, please let me know because I honestly um I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I honestly didn't think about it in a weird way. They even be all like, oh, let me do some plans. So I was just going to kind of play it by ear on Thursday. But if you are in the area, let me know the other days and I can work my schedule around uh, to meet up with you guys. Because I definitely would love to meet up with, and it can be subscribers or content creators. It might be one or the other. And by the way, I want to clarify something too, because a lot of people think, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it out. A lot of people think the reason why I was going was to see did not. That's not the reason. Ah, that's not the reason why I was going. It's actually my nephew's birthday. My nephew is turning nine on the 26th. And so uh, we're going to be hanging out. I'm meeting my sister down there and stuff like that. It was originally supposed to be a surprise, but she told him. So uh, yeah, it's not a surprise anymore, but um that's the reason why I'm going down there. Believe it or not, I do pride myself in being an uncle and I love my nieces and nephews and stuff like that. So this is special that I'm going to be able to be there for this. So, um, I missed his first birthday. And I said, after that, I'm not missing another birthday again. Now there are times where they go out of town and I'm not uh, with him for his birthday. But, um, when I missed his first birthday, I was all like, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can to be there for every birthday. So. God damn it, y'all about to make me emotional. Uh, anyway, so Dallas, Dallas, I will be there the 21st through the 26th, I believe. Yeah, in March. So make sure you guys link up with me. Um, we will, I will be there. Um, I don't have any plans for that time, but you know, I'll I'll work something out. Let me know, hit me up. We don't have to hang out in a group, it can be individual. And oh, by the way, guys, this is the backup channel right here. I'm gonna pin it up to the top. And then finally, Vegas, baby. So Vegas, I'm going to be there. So the Lover and Friends tour just got announced. So I think I'm going to try to go to that the following week. So I'm probably going to be there until like the middle of May. So anyway, so we have um, the 20th. I will be in Vegas, but the actual YouTube meetup, shout out to Couture Bay and also Wiley, who's doing it with her. Uh, it's going to be the 26th through the 28th. Make sure you guys uh, connect with either one of us and let us know if you would like to be a part of it. Um, but we're just going to collaborate. No drama, no nothing. Um, it's just going to be a good time. So I would love to meet you guys for that one too. All right, y'all. That's enough talking. I'm done. I love y'all. Just tell somebody today that you love them, okay? Tell someone that you love them. I guarantee you it's going to change their night because it's already past the day. But if you're watching this tomorrow, it'll change their day. But if you tell somebody you love them tonight, it'll change their life. Go ahead.